Well, it's kind of becoming a tradition around this time of year where we give you a list of our top performing annuals. And these are annuals that are really in no particular order. We just want to highlight some of the ones that have performed well for us. Now, the first one that I want to start with is firebush. The genus species is Hamelia patens. It absolutely loves the heat. It's native to Mexico, so it prefers full sun as well. And this is one of those that when you first see it in the early spring in the garden centers, it looks really small and not very showy. And they don't sell very well, but I promise you, if you'll give it a chance, now for the third year, it has just done so wonderful for us. You'll see that it's really grown more for its foliage. It has a reddish bronze color. The flowers are kind of tubular, not real showy, but the hummingbirds and the sulfur butterflies absolutely love them. We've had them range anywhere from two to up to five feet in height, depending upon the size that we start with earlier in the season. And we've also found it not really very easy to take cuttings on these in the fall, so we usually just purchase in new plants each year. And really the only problem we found this year is a little bit of wind damage from some with a few weeks ago with the fall uh, storm that we had. Now another one right here behind me is called Bloodleaf Irisine or Irisini. It's also grown more for its foliage. You can tell it's a, a brilliant purple foliage. Uh, the genus species is Irisine lindenii. This one's in the amaranth family, but the good thing about that is it doesn't recede itself. The flowers are really not very showy. And also it will grow in shade, even in full sun, which I have it at my home. And the foliage is still pretty much the same color, just a little bit different than height, around two feet. And this one is pretty easy for to take cuttings on. Now one that we've had success with in the shade, or part shade, is a double red impatient, also called rose or camellia flowered impatient. The genus species is impatiens basomena. And it's just spectacular, this red rose-like flower. Some again describe it as camellia, but the thing that we like about it is just the intensity of the flower. Now, it's not a massive color like the traditional impatient, but it's really been very eye appealing, uh, even though it's not that spectacular as far as cover. The height of it's about 15 to 18 inches, and this is one you definitely want to plant a little bit warmer in the spring, and it's also fairly easy to propagate. Now another one that we tried for the first time this year is more of a ground cover called Indian Rover Runner. And unfortunately, I don't have any information about the genus species. This was shared with us from the Wichita Botanical Gardens. And they're even having a hard time finding out information about the genus species. All I can tell you is it's a ground cover. It grows about six to 10 inches in height. It has thick, dark green-like foliage and has yellow daisy-like flowers that pop up through the thick foliage. And the, again, it's not a massive color, but the daisy-like flowers are just enough to catch your attention. It's bloomed all summer long, very consistent. It's very aggressive, as you can see, and it's even started to take over some of our other bedding plants. And it's very easy to propagate, too. As a matter of fact, you'll probably be able to take cuttings from the cuttings and even more cuttings from the cuttings all winter long. So really a nice one. And this one, you're probably going to have some trouble in finding it. The other one is Scavola Blue Wonder. It's one that we showed you last year with a purple butterfly-like flower, a little bit of yellow, also a ground cover. And this one kind of started to die off for us when the temperatures got cool. But it's starting to be introduced in the garden centers. And you'll see all of these performed for us all summer long. And now is your time to make a list of plants that you'd like. Ask your garden centers if they could carry it next year. Otherwise, you'll have to start searching for other sources that you can find it. So make your list. Winter's just around the corner.